The following opinions are solely those of BoatTest.com and its test captain. Hi, I'm Captain John Wenz for BoatTest.com. This is Beneteau's all-new Oceanus 38. This boat represents an evolutionary change in the way a yacht is designed to meet the needs of the owner rather than vice versa. Even in notoriously light and variable summer morning winds on Tampa Bay, the Oceanus 38 proved to sail well. The 13-foot, 1-inch beam creates an enormous cockpit with dual helms, and this fold-down stern boarding platform carries the cockpit right to the water's edge. But the real story to this boat is below, where the open interior layout with many deadlights and hatches provide an enormous sense of space. Beneteau even offers three layout options of this space with the day sailor, weekender, or cruiser. The galley runs along the starboard side, and there's enough room for two people to work here. Aft is a deep stainless steel sink with good counter space, a refrigerator below, and under the sink is room for storage or a trash bin. Above are cabinets. In the center is a gimbal two burner propane gas stove with oven, and to the left is more counter space, a drawer for flatware, and storage below for pans and utensils. I like this arrangement better than a U-shaped galley where only one person can work. Forward, rectangular deadlights provide light to the queen bed. Below is a deep drawer for clothing. Rather than blocking the open feel here with built-in hanging lockers, luggage hooks hold suitcases and garment bags that are packed at home and hung while cruising. Two more hull side deadlights, cabin side windows, and two opening hatches bring in more light and air. Two removable cube-shaped seats fastened to the cabin sole to create a U-shaped dinette, where the cube seats and table can be removed when not cruising. Outboard of the dinette, we find the entertainment system, main electrical panel, room for electronics, outboard storage cabinets, and an optional television. The chart table includes a soft closed lid. The head sits to starboard behind the galley. It includes storage outboard, a retractable shower head at the sink with shower curtains, and plenty of light and air through the cabin side window and port light. The shower compartment just aft of the head includes a seat, cubbies for shower essentials, and an opening port light. On the port side aft, this second cabin includes a huge athwartship bed that extends beyond the center line of the boat. We found sitting headroom above the bed and standing headroom inside the cabin. Two port lights bring in light and cross ventilation. Aft cabins also include Beneteau's hanging luggage hooks. Ship's batteries and switches are located here, as well as access to steering gear in the lazarette. Access to the inboard diesel is here through the shower, also from the aft cabin and here beneath the companionway stairs. Importantly, access is very good to the fuel filter, as well as to belts and the engine mounted seawater pump. The sea strainer and 115 volt pump for two air conditioner units can also be reached very easily. Two leather wrapped handrails aid coming back up on deck, and the smoke companionway allows even more sunlight below. The wide cockpit has long bench seats for lounging and plenty of room to pass on either side of the center table. The table comfortably accommodates three on each side and includes stout handrails and storage within. Dual helms include seating both outboard and aft, with space on each side of the boat for electronics. The engine control is at the starboard wheel, and shore power cords connect beneath the starboard helm. Pelican hooks on triple stainless lifelines secure the transom, as well as bench seats that raise out of the way. The latch and ladder on the port side lower the stern platform with surprisingly little effort. The teak step and deck provide sure footing. A life raft can be stored below a removable stair or through a hatch. Our boat had a hot and cold freshwater shower wand and a propane locker opposite. The cockpit hatch opens to a huge storage room or to a shallower locker in three cabin layouts. To aid moving forward, the arch includes two handrails on each side with another on the cabin top. On the bow, two anchor rollers and a huge road locker will be appreciated while cruising as will the windlass that protrudes through the deck to use to snub dock lines. Light wind precluded meaningful performance tests, but the Oceanus 38 sailed well in just five knots of wind. Twin rudders help provide a responsive helm, and they should be hugely beneficial in heavy weather. Sail handling couldn't be much easier, 
with sheet stoppers on the cabin top for everything important, including the optional furling mainsail. The main sheet is trimmed here as well, and it attaches to the overhead arch out of the way. A roller furling headsail is standard and is easy to operate from the cockpit. A self-tacking jib is available, but with cockpit winches located just a bit forward of the helm, tacking the headsail single-handed was quite easy. The twin rudders also made the boat quite responsive under power, particularly in reverse where the boat steered smartly in the direction the wheel was turned. So that's a close-up look at the all-new Beneteau Oceanus 38. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain John Wentz.